we're going to have a look at expanding thirds. Okay. Now, if I had root three multiplied by root three, there's two ways we can approach this. Okay, so the first one is if I multiply the three out with the three, that's going to give me nine. Now, if I have the square root of nine, I can just simplify that to give me three. Or I can look at root three, multiply by root three. When a root is multiplied by itself, it will literally cancel out the root and I'll just be left with three. Okay, let me show you how this works. If I had root 25 multiplied by root 25, either I could multiply the numbers out inside or I could actually simplify them. Root 25 it simplifies to give me five. Root 25 simplifies to give me five. Five multiplied by five is going to give me 25. So when a root is multiplied by itself, the root literally cancels out and you're left with the number. Okay, that's your first thing. Your second thing is if I had root three multiplied by root two. Now, if I have different roots, I can actually multiply them out. So root three multiplied by root three can, can root two can simplify to give me root six. Root ten multiplied by root five can simplify to give me root fifty, etc. If I had two root three multiplied by two. Now the numbers in front, the big numbers will multiply. So two multiplied by two will give me four and the root three will stay the same, okay? Same way if I had three root five multiplied by 10, the whole numbers will multiply to give me 30 and the root five will stay the same. Now, what if I had two root three multiplied by root three? Now the roots would multiply out. So we're gonna have the two there by itself. And root three multiplied by root three would give me three. And then you'd have to do two times three, which would simplify to give you six, okay? What if I had two root three multiplied by two root three? Now, the two would multiply with the two to give me a four. The root three would multiply with the root three to give me a three. You'd have four times three, which would give you 12. Another example of this would be three root five multiplied by two root five. Now the three and the two would multiply to give me a six. The root five and the root five would multiply out to give me a five, because when a root is multiplied by a root, it cancels out. Six multiplied by five would simplify to give me 30. Okay, however, if I had root two plus root five, if I was adding them, I cannot simplify this and that's not possible. Okay, so only if I am multiplying, it will work. Now, if I had a question like root six multiplied by root three, now this would give me root 18. Now, if I've, I'm left with root 18, I cannot leave it as root 18 because I need to simplify this further because the biggest square number that goes into root 18 is root nine and 18 divided by nine is two. That can simplify to give me three root two. Okay, so that is my final answer as it is simplified. So now let's go through expanding third brackets. So how does expanding third brackets work? So if I had two plus root three bracket two minus root three. Now, just like expanding normal brackets, everything in the first bracket multiplies with everything in the second bracket, okay? So two multiplied by two is going to give me four. Two multiplied by minus root three is going to give me minus two root three. Root three multiplied by two is going to give me plus two root three. And root three multiplied by root three, when a three is, root is multiplied by a root, it cancels out and I'm left with minus three. Now minus two root three plus root two root three, imagine it was minus two x and plus two x, those would cancel out. And I'm left with four minus three, which simplifies to give me one. Okay, so this is only the case if I had a plus and a minus in my brackets, I could be left without any thirds at the end. However, if a question looked like this, three plus root five squared. Okay, now when a bracket is squared, we know we're multiplying the bracket by itself, so we can write it out as three plus root five, bracket three plus root five. Three multiplied by three is going to simplify to give me nine. 3 multiplied by root 5 is going to give me plus 3 root 5. Root 5 multiplied by 3 is also going to give me 3 root 5. And root 5 multiplied by root 5 is just going to give me 5. Now, 9 plus 5 can simplify to give me 14. 3 root 5 plus 3 root 5, that's like saying 3x plus 3x, is going to simplify to give me 6x. So it's going to be plus 6 root 5. 
okay now let's go for another example what if I had um, 2 plus root 5 and 2 minus root 5 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give me 4 2 multiplied by minus root 5 is going to give me minus 2 root 5 root 5 multiplied by 2 is going to give me plus 2 root 5 and root 5 multiplied by root 5 is going to give me minus 5 minus 2 root 5 and plus 2 root 5 is going to cancel out 4 minus 5 is going to simplify to give me minus 1 because so I'm going to write this question down and let's all have a go 5 plus root 3 and 5 minus root 3 pause and have a go and then I can go through it okay so you've paused and you had a go 5 multiplied by 5 is going to give me 25 5 multiplied by minus root 3 is going to give me minus 5 root 3 3 multiplied root 3 multiplied by 5 is going to give me plus 5 root 3 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 is going to give me minus 3 now minus 5 root 3 and plus 5 root 3 cancel out 25 subtract 3 is going to leave me with 22 now we've got a challenge question which is going to be 2 plus root 3 squared minus 2 minus root 3 squared so let's all pause have a go at this question and then we'll go through it okay so when a bracket is squared we're multiplying the bracket by itself so it's going to be 2 plus root 3 2 plus root 3 and on this side it's going to be 2 minus root 3 2 minus root 3 so let's tackle one bracket first 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give me 4 2 multiplied by root 3 is going to give me plus 2 root 3 root 3 multiplied by 2 is going to be plus 2 root 3 and root 3 multiplied by 3 is going to be plus 3 let's simplify that 4 plus 3 is going to give me 7 2 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is going to give me plus 4 root 3 there we go that's my brackets expanded and simplified let's do this side 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give me 4 2 multiplied by minus root 3 is going to be minus 2 root 3 minus root 3 multiplied by 2 is going to be minus 2 root 3 and root 3 multiplied by root 3 remember a minus and a minus becomes a plus so that's going to be plus root 3 4 plus 3 is going to give me 7 minus 2 root 3 minus 2 root 3 is going to give me minus 4 root 3 now remember this bracket is subtracting this bracket so 7 take away 7 is going to cancel out 4 root 3 minus minus 4 root 3 when 2 2 minuses are put together they are being added so that, beca that becomes a plus and that equals to 8 root 3 and that's your final answer for this question okay